Hello everybody, how are you guys doing today? Yesterday, I put out a video showing off a tweet where the producers of the game, Boss Team Games, showed off that the three characters that we've been shown so far are most likely going to be the only characters coming to this pack. And I noticed something that I kind of want to turn into a projected roadmap. I don't know if this is true, I don't know if it's real, it doesn't come from anything, it just comes from my brain, and I could be totally wrong. But before I get into this one, I want to urge you to subscribe because it's the only way you're ever going to see pictures of Spider-Man. Now that we've got that out of the way, like the video and turn notifications on, and let's get right into this one. So, what I noticed is that the killer that is dropping with this pack is one that obviously comes from Army of Darkness. This one is the witch and it has the pit bitch as an elite, I think. And that is pretty interesting coming with the 2013 pack that we're getting with Mia and David because we just got an Army of Darkness pack with skins and a map that is technically the map that was supposed to drop with the launch title, but neither here nor there. And this may set a precedent for future content, as there is a small chance that we may see the Abomination come into this current DLC. However, it's not looking good right now. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting any information on her. It doesn't look like she's going to be joining us in this pack. So I have developed a theory for all content going forward and have generated what is a possible roadmap for the next couple of months. And I will share that with you right now. Obviously, on September 8th, we're getting Mia David as season pass characters and the witch as a free content. And I think that this is showing us that they may do things like this in the future. And I think our October release is going to be the new Savini skin. The reason I think this is because I don't know what else they would put out in October, and they can't just not put something out in October because it's a horror game and Halloween and everything. So I think we're going to be getting the shirt in September and the skin is going to drop in October. Make sure, by the way, to buy this skin if you want it because there's literally only two days left to get it. We're getting very close to the end of August. The shirt is limited and it will never drop again, most likely. I mean, maybe it will, who knows. But this is like last call to get the shirt. I'll leave a link to the website you can use to buy it in the description below. So yeah, if you want that skin, buy the shirt. I think it's pretty worth it if you like skins and stuff. Anyway, I think that's coming in October. Now, the next DLC has been shown that the a, another DLC that is most likely coming is Ash versus the Evil Dead. And this makes sense because people like Chet have been shown off and Ruby is like one of the biggest characters that is wanted right now and ball is already credited and little lori is also credited who may show up in the trap system in the game which i think would be great anyway i think that this dlc is probably going to be announced in mid-November, and I think that the Ash vs. the Evil Dead DLC itself is going to drop in December. And with this pack, I think we are going to see the Abomination as free content, because it is thematically current with the DLC that is coming out in September. So I think that the Abomination will drop in the Ash vs. the Evil Dead DLC pack as free content that everyone gets to have. I think that the Abomination will come with Chet and Ball. I think these will be the season pass characters. And there's a little bit of conflicting things here because I don't think Chet makes sense as a leader, meaning that they may forego Chet for now and actually put Ruby in as a survivor with Ball as a demon, filling in that leader spot because I think she just makes a perfect leader. The character makes sense for it. So I think we may get Ruby and Ball as demons in the season pass and the abomination as free content the next dlc after this one i literally do not know what they could add i'm literally just gonna put 
Ashley K. Williams as the DLC for this one that you would pay for because that's the only fucking character I can think of. So Ashley K. Williams, fuck it, let's put her in there. If I'm right, pray to me as your god. And is free content, I think we'll be getting Ruby as a demon and Chet as a survivor. I think this makes a lot of sense because it thematically fits with the previous DLC and allows for that free content that everybody is loving and another season pass piece this would come with season pass too i think this would come around february and then that would lead us into around the march april area where i think we will get shown the evil dead rise dlc pack and obviously I can't show you the characters that I think will come with that. And I also can't show you what I think would come as free content because I don't know what DLC in between this will be. But questionable DLC around February with free content coming around April with the DLC pack containing the Evil Dead Rise character. So, the overview of my projected roadmap that is not official, please don't kill me if none of this comes true. September 8th, we will receive me and David as paid content and the Plaguebringer as free content. October, we'll see the Savini Ash Mark II skin. December, we'll see Ruby as a survivor and Ball as a demon for paid season pass. Four and the abomination as a free content character in february we'll see ashley k williams or whatever the fuck is coming out in february or around that time for season pass two pack one we'll see that character as paid content and we'll see ruby as a demon and chet as a survivor as free content just to keep the theme going and going into april we'll see whatever is coming out with evil dead rise and whatever content is free and related to whatever comes out in february that is my projected roadmap that's the best i could think of let me know what you think in the comments below do you think i'm onto something do you think i'm a fucking idiot and need to shut my mouth whichever one you're on the side of let me know make sure to subscribe go down in the description and join that discord because it is sick in there and i know you don't want to play on your own because that shit is boring and i hope to see you in the next video thanks for coming guys good night